Hey guys, Chris here, and as you can see from the background, I am back home. Uh, seven weeks I was in Albuquerque, and uh, I came to just a crap ton of mail. I had uh, two horror blocks, which I've already opened. I unfortunately couldn't resist the urge to open those, so unfortunately uh, there won't be any horror block updates for the past two months. Um, however, I did receive two of my uh, cryptocuriums uh, from march and april and i have somehow managed to resist the urge to open these so i will be uh, opening these right now and i apologize if i <clears throat> sound a little bit hoarse um i managed to come down with a bit of a bug over the last few days so it's like moved down into my chest and my throat and uh, <clears throat> excuse me and so it's really just affecting my uh my uh, throat and my nose, yeah. Anyway, uh, enough uh, rambling. Let's go ahead and get these open. And we will be starting with March's Cryptocurium. And this is my very first Cryptocurium, and I'm happy to be opening two of them today. I'm really excited about these. In fact, um, I'm thinking about just going down to one subscription box so I can pay off some of my credit cards and a little bit of extra money. Um, and I'm thinking about just sticking with this, depending on how these um, products end up turning out. And I'm pretty sure I'll be more than happy with them. So I think this will uh, be the one main uh, subscription box that I get every month. So I will use my key to go ahead and open this first one here. And I'm really excited about seeing this in here. And uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with Cryptocurium, um, you know, it's a little bit like Horror Block in that it's all sort of horror-related items in here. Uh, you get a variety of things, but the only difference is they're all handmade and, and custom items. And um, for the most part, uh, you know what you will get. Every month they show you exactly what will be in that month's box. However, recently I believe they started having one surprise item. Um, so let's go ahead and open this first one up. So the first thing you see when you open this up is this really cool... Um, jack-o'-lantern with wings. I guess it's just sort of a stamp that's put on there. I like that quite a bit. And we'll go ahead and just sort of remove this paper here. And let's take a look at the very first thing. And essentially, just sort of like a, a welcome letter. Uh, you know, thank, thanks again for membership in the Cryptocurium Parcel of Terror. And then it basically just goes into what's inside the package. And you have a cool business card there. So we just set that aside. And so the first item that we have here, oh, and this is what really was one of the factors that made me subscribe to this particular month. And that is this magnet right here. So the first thing we get is this awesome leather face magnet. And the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is probably like my second favorite movie, I want to say. Uh, so I had to get this for my Leatherface collection. Uh, a lot of detail on this. Just super, super cool looking. Very awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and set this aside. And we'll go on to the next album. Ooh, and this is another one of the reasons why I had to get in on this box. We have this super cool Wolfman sticker. This is my laptop right here, and as you can see, I already have a few pretty cool stickers on there. I've got two from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. These are from Atomic Cotton, and then I have this one here from a really cool comic store in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And if you're ever in the area, you've got to go to Astro Zombie. Super cool store. Uh, they have a lot of really cool stickers and they have everything there. Music, comics, toys, and um, it's mainly a comic store, but they also have like really cool like exclusive vinyl items like specifically made for them. And they have some pretty cool, um, also I believe exclusive comic covers uh, for that particular store. So really cool. And I'll be putting this Wolfman sticker somewhere on this uh, laptop i haven't decided where yet but yeah so there is the laptop that did not come with the cryptocurium but uh the sticker that i'll be uh putting on there pretty soon let's go ahead and move on to the next item uh we've got here this little uh print uh, that he drew and uh essentially what we have here i guess is a uh, vampire murder kit <laughs> so you've got your crucifix bible uh, gun, knife, you've got some steaks, some mallet, uh, holy water, 
pretty cool and also signed and numbered signed and numbered um, moving on to the next item here we've got oh and this is actually one of the things I was really excited about um, this right here is an HP Lovecraft inspired wall plaque and basically doing a series of these and uh, this one is super cool and I have seen uh, April's just being marches and I want to say April I think I prefer April's design we'll look at that one here in a few moments but yeah this is actually pretty cool I love the sort of metallic purple of it very neat so not sure where I'm gonna put this yet but a uh, very cool little plaque um, so we're gonna move on let me just grab the box here so the next item here is actually candy <laughs> so we've got this uh, nice chocolate sucker here at least I'm pretty sure it was chocolate let me take a look at the uh, you know, breakdown of what's included here so we have a Jody lollipop uh, of course this is the uh, let's see the spectoral pig that tormented the Lutz family so <laughs> very cool and this one is made out of just uh, blue and red chocolate so very neat with the last item that we've got here is a pretty cool t-shirt it is of the shining you've got the twins so very cool so all in all I, I really dig this um, I'll show that cool pumpkin again <laughs> So yeah, um, overall, I really like it. Uh, my favorite item uh, this time around, definitely the Wolfman sticker, and I love the leather face magnet, and of course, the plaque is very cool as well. We're going to go ahead and go into April's box right now. And open this up. Of course, we have the jack-o'-lantern again, and I believe when I was watching Johnny Tellis' video, he mentioned that... Uh, if the uh, jack-o'-lantern is actually uh, red, you will get um, a special prize. So unfortunately, mine is black. No special prize here, but I'm certainly interested in seeing what that prize was. So we've got another little letter here for the breakdown of what is inside. And this one actually has some pretty cool stuff. So we'll go ahead and uh, there's a card. Just get into this one now. So the first thing I see on the very top here is the Blair Witch Project little stick man. And uh, this is something I was actually really excited about. And I uh, actually ripped my Blu-ray copy of the Blair Witch Project on my laptop because I'd sort of been itching to watch it again. But I just never got around to it um, while I was gone. But I do plan on watching this one pretty soon. And this is just awesome. I mean, this looks great. Don't think I'll be wearing this. <laughs> But uh, I definitely uh, will be hanging this somewhere. I'm not sure where just yet, but very cool. Just a lot of great detail on that one. So it's really cool. I love that. Uh, the next thing we have here is another one of those HP Lovecraft inspired flags. And we'll do a quick comparison here. Uh, this one is a little bigger and it's, it's heavier as well. Uh, let me take a look at the description here. So with this one, it's inspired by Dreams in the Witch House. And I'm really bummed out that I don't have the previous two. But there is that one. And this one has sort of a, I guess a gunmetal uh, metallic color to it. And there's the one from last month, or previous month rather. So very cool. Not too sure where I'll be hanging these, but I'm going to find somewhere to put them around here. Maybe just like right behind me. I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, very cool. Some great detail on that one. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I keep coughing, guys. Uh, <laughs> I've been chugging DayQuil, but it's just, it's not working. <laughs> so let's go ahead and move on to the next thing here. Ooh, we have another sticker for my laptop. This time we have the Bride of Frankenstein. A very cool sticker. Very nice. Nice, high quality. Love that. And we'll move on again. We have another 
candy item this time. It is a chocolate heart. So that's pretty cool. And another really cool magnet. We got some Mara from the ring. Let's take a look at this one. Oh yeah, that is very cool. You know, I do prefer Leatherface, that's just because I am a Texas Chainsaw Massacre fanboy. Um, but this one's pretty cool as well. Very creepy looking. Just lots of excellent detail on that one. And the other item that we have here is a Medusa print. And this one is also numbered and signed. So uh, to the creator of Cryptocurium, uh, great job. You know, a lot of people are signing up and uh, I'm sure uh, with this current month, you'll have even more uh, people on board. So congratulations. But anyhow, very cool print and will look nice next to uh, last month's print as well. So very cool. So all in all, I even though I don't sound as enthusiastic as I normally am, I apologize again, just a bit under the weather, and I just had to get those open. Usually I would just wait, but I've been just like looking at the box, and I've been wanting to open them, but since I never opened one of these on camera, I really wanted just to wait, uh, but I couldn't wait any longer. So I apologize. I'm not my uh, enthusiastic self right now, but with that said, I have to say I'm actually really, really really impressed with Cryptocurium. It is definitely something I would recommend to um, people who are a fan of these subscription boxes. Um, I love Horror Block. You know, it's, I'm really, God, because I, I really want to keep Horror Block uh, and Cryptocurium, but I need to, I need to let, I think I'm going to let Horror Block go for a few months. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I keep saying that. I'm always like saying, yeah, I'm going to, you know, stop buying so many movies and stuff, but, you know, then I go to the store and I, I end up buying three Blu-rays and like 15 comics. I'm a terrible human being. Uh, anyway, that about does it for this video. Uh, just really cool, some really cool stuff um, that I can't wait to find a place for. I love the stickers. I especially love these uh, Lovecraftian wall plaques. These are certainly pretty cool. And just, I love the detail on these. So this, this is just super cool. You know, uh, that, that I think is my favorite thing about this particular um, subscription box. It's just, you know, the, these are one of a kind items that, you know, you're not going to be able to order online. Um, while he does sell similar things on his website, um, these are, are pretty much exclusive to this uh, subscription box. So, you know, once um, it's gone, it's gone. And uh, I love that. I love that. Not a whole lot of subscription boxes out there feature items that are sort of what I consider one of a kind. But these are great. I say one of a kind. I guess there's one of 160 of uh, this particular plaque, but with that said, you know, I, I like the um, exclusiveness of it, so very cool, and uh, I love the stickers, I love Universal Monsters, I wish I could have grabbed one of the Creature from the Black Lagoon stickers, um, but yeah, I guess that about does it for this video. Uh, out of the two boxes, I have to say I love the leather face magnet, I love, love, love this cool Blair Witch Project um, collectible here. Plaques are great, stickers are great. Everything's cool. I recommend it. Be sure to check out Cryptocurium. Uh, I will try and remember to have a link down below in the description box where you can actually click on that and go and subscribe. I highly recommend giving it a shot because it, it's really cool. And if you have any questions or you want, you know, maybe detailed pictures or something like that, leave a comment down below and I'll, I'll see if I can't take some pictures and rustle up something for the old website. Uh, but as always, I hope everyone is doing great. Uh, it's nice to be back home, but uh, I'll be honest, I'm really missing Albuquerque and uh, in particular, um, you know, one person that I met down there. So it kind of sucks, but <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I, I think I could be going back to Albuquerque sometime pretty soon, but Anyhow, that is for another video, so I will shut up now, and as always, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe, and be sure to leave a comment down below.